Hello! So today I'm going to deploy a Flask application that has a Postgres database. I'm going to use the Azure Developer CLI and deploy it to Azure App Service with a Postgres flexible server and have them communicating inside of VNet. And I'm also going to show the edit deploy cycle as well to make a little accessibility fix to the site. So let's get started. Here I am in GitHub code spaces and I've got the repo opened up. So I type azd up to start the process. The first thing it does is prompt me for an environment name that would become the prefix for all the resources created. So I'll say flask pg, flask postgres. Now I'm not logged in, so it asked me to log in. And since I'm in code spaces, I have to use the device code route. So I have to paste in this device code, select my account, and then give permission to the AZD CLI. And then I can return to code spaces and it'll pull and realize that I am logged in now and should continue the process. Select my subscription. I only have one. That's easy. I select a location, one that's close to me. So I'm going to go with central US for this one. And now it starts looking at the BICEP files, the infrastructure's code, to make sure that they are all valid and that it understands them. And it begins to provision the resources. So this is where it actually creates all the resources we need for this app. And I sped this up because it is actually a bit of a slow process to create these resources. You can see how it created a resource group. And then inside that, it created an analytics workspace, a dashboard, for metrics, an app service plan, the actual app itself, and it's still working on creating the Postgres server with the virtual net and the private DNS zone uh, so that that can you know, communicate with the app. So that part in particular, I've noticed can take a little bit of time. All right, all done. So now it actually deploys the code. So this is where it takes the code that's in this repo, bundles it up, uploads it to the Azure servers. So this also takes time, which is why I sped this part up as well. It takes a few minutes. Once it's done, we can see the endpoint for the, the actual website. So if we visit this, we'll actually see the Flask website. And it takes a few seconds to load because it is actually you know running the migrations and getting this Flask app ready to go. So the first time it will take a few seconds. And here it is, the Flask website. So this is a restaurant review website. We can add a new restaurant to make sure the database is working well. This is my favorite restaurant. And then we can add a review just to make sure that the related tables are also working well. And save that and everything looks good. It deployed. So now that it's deployed, I'm going to make an edit to it and redeploy. I'm going to check if there are any accessibility issues with this website by using Lighthouse. So I open that up in the dev console and I tell Lighthouse to analyze the page and it's going to check for a range of issues, performance, accessibility, SEO, all of that stuff. But right now I only care about accessibility. So here is the score. You can see we have a 98% for accessibility, so close, but there is one issue and that's that the heading elements are not in sequentially descending order. It's pointing out that H4 is violating this rule. So we can take a look at the code and try to figure out why that is. So I open up the details.html, which is the template for this page, and I see it starts with an H1, but then it has an H4. It should go H1 to H2, so that's what I'm going to change it to. And that would be sequentially descending order from H1 to H2. So now that I've made that change and saved, I can type azd deploy and that's going to deploy the change code. I don't have to do the whole up process because I've already provisioned all the resources and none of that has changed. All I need to do is deploy it and see that updated code. And it gives me the URL again, so I can check out that URL and make sure it has the change. Let's look at the details page and see if that heading has changed. And there we go, we see it's an H2. So now we should get 100% accessibility. Let's find out. Lighthouse takes a little bit of time to do the analysis. It's gotta check a bunch of things. And here we go, 100% accessibility.
Very nice. So this is the edit deploy cycle for a Flask app using AZD.